Hi, this is Nathan, your Neighborhood Arcade and Pinball Talk Guy. Today we're going to be reviewing The Adventures of Rocky and Bullwinkle and Friends by Data East. Uh, this is a virtual pin, uh, great representation of the game. I've played both, so we'll be talking about that through our commentary throughout our gameplay today. Uh, please find a review underneath the description of the video on YouTube, as well as like us on Facebook under Arcade and Pinball Talk. Follow us on Instagram under Arcade Pinball Talk, and let that finger slip off while you're looking at the description, and click that subscribe button on YouTube. But anyway, let's go ahead and get this review underway, shall we? One thing that I will say, that the representation of these games is pretty accurate. I mean, I've actually played this in person, uh, in mechanical form. Uh, it all seems it all seems accurate. I mean, ball speed's there. It, it, this game is one of those games that actually reminds me of Roller Coaster Tycoon. Uh, just the way that it's set up, the speed, how you kind of get to play this game the way that it is. Uh, but anyway, Power Gap's not too bad on this one. Music's great if you remember Rocky and Bullwinkle back in the day. I mean, you know, this game is definitely a fun game if you could find it. Uh, ramp to the right, ramp to the left. Uh, these are a little bit more moderate to high difficulty because, as you can tell from the right side, it kind of twists around. Uh, that makes it a little bit harder, so you got to have a lot of ball speed to get up there. Uh, you'd have some blocks on this ramp in the middle where it says uh, Wabak Machine. Uh, basically going up that ramp to the middle you have two blocks there they're right down the middle and we call that a dead man shot so that shot being you better get the ball speed up that thing because if not it's going to redirect that ball right back into your ball out and uh, you're going to lose your uh, lose a ball and or uh, lose on the game uh, but anyway let's go ahead and get another ball going just like what I just called out right there. Uh, not even going up, it did to go down the middle. The bumper, the block, actually caused me to go right down the middle. Table setup, theme, table mechanics all there. Table mechanics, multiple layers to this game. Beautiful. Music's great. The theme is great. Colors are great. This is a fun game. I'm glad I was able to get the uh, multi-ball so I could kind of show you how this works, but this is a fast table, and did you just notice that? Two ramps, two balls, right down the middle. So again, like I said, dead man shot, that's why I said that. Uh, but anyway, this is a great, great, great table. If you have the option to be able to play this out in public, definitely do so. Uh, find it, hunt it down, buy it if you have. This would be a table that i put in my house besides some of the, the newer Sterns and some of the Jersey Jacks and stuff like that are coming out. This would be a fun game for your home. Uh, but anyway, um, Again, thank you for watching today. Uh, please like us on Facebook, Facebook uh, under Arcade and uh, Pinball Talk, uh, Instagram Arcade Pinball Talk, as well as uh, subscribe on YouTube. But thank you again for watching, and uh, we look forward to our next video with you. Thank you again.